I will be so happy if Mbappe shows up in the Premier League. If he does come, it'll be blockbuster, dude. Like, and my my irrational fear is that City is gonna go ahead and sign him. If like Real Madrid yeah, oh flaked for some reason, that would be so yeah. scary. We've seen a few big announcements happen with the uh, like the president of France, Kylian Mbappe, announcing that he's gonna leave uh, PSG and how it's gonna be a big heartbreak for his fans. Where do you think is he? Is is it written in the stars that he's going to Madrid, or is is there some late drama going to happen again? Why do you think Liverpool is getting all the backroom staff right now? All Michael Edwards, Joel Ward, everyone's kind of coming back to Liverpool. It's because we are signing Mbappe. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, go Max. Love it. <laughs> you if you remember that Liverpool Mbappe saga like back in 2020 or something like there was all these like random rumors. I don't know if it kind of reached all the other fans, but it was a huge thing with in the Liverpool Twitter space. Like oh Mbappe is coming. We we have this Nike deal. Mbappe is going to choose uh, Liverpool because of Nike or some bullshit like that. Uh, I wish no, some. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I will be so happy if Mbappe shows up in at at in the Premier League. Yeah, really? I'm signing us out of that like transfer because <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. But if he does come, it'll be blockbuster, dude. Like, and my my irrational fear is that City is going to go ahead and sign him if like Real yeah, Madrid oh flaked for some reason. That would be so yeah. scary. Like, I can't. I don't want to live in that in, in that space at all. Um, I think I see a could... world where like he could actually sign for a London club, which is Arsenal. Like, if Arsenal go for no. it, but I don't think Arsenal will make. Bankroll that kind of decision. It's dude. The way I don't think he's signing for any Premier League club. I think the wages are too much. It's like he's demanding six hundred, seven hundred k per week, or maybe like a, more than that. It's just too much, bro. Like I, dude, I don't even I, want to. Go yeah, close, the, close the wages, to the wages, the ego, the and everything that comes with him can only be satisfied by Real Madrid. It, it's Real Madrid's headache. Uh, let them deal with it. I mean, they'll yeah. they'll fit together well. I think there is no other club at this point which can kind of. Which can satisfy Mbappe and his ego, so yeah, let him be. Also, like if you think about it, right? He's fucking twenty five, twenty six years old. He hasn't achieved shit at club level, like absolutely <laughs> nothing. Uh, mm-hmm. There was there was this one opportunity opportunity for him to show up this season, where you know actually yeah. carry PSG through to at least a good place, but he was bad. He was worse, probably the worst player on the pitch in both the legs combined against Borussia Dortmund. So, I mean, for his sake, I feel like. Uh, I don't think he can do it alone. Like France is a n- different beast, so I'm not saying he's a bad player by no means. I think he's definitely the top three players in the world, but he's not Messi. He's not Ronaldo. He's never going to beat Messi, Ronaldo. Those people were like on a different level to him. Uh, for whatever his legacy he wants to save and or or create, I think he should go to Real Madrid and either destroy that club or win multiple championships. Whatever it is. But how do you think Madrid will line up with if Mbappe joins? Like they have Vinny, they have Rodrigo, they have they yeah. have Mbappe, they have Bellingham, they have Valverde. Like who who sits Rodrigo's out? Gone, <laughs> Rodrigo's gone, bro. Rodrigo's gone. No, I think I think Rodrigo. No, no, I think Rodrigo is there. I mean, Rodrigo My... have, has been their best no, player as... this season, no, no. and like no, no, gone as in like see, you can't bin Vinny, right? Exactly. Yeah. Because he's he's he, so he's gonna shift to the right. Mbappe won't play at the center. Uh, or he might, so, but then he doesn't like playing there, and he's not good there. No, so he'll play on the that, left. Mm-hmm. No, I don't think I don't think he plays in the center. I don't think he, he likes that. No, no, no. Spot. All I'm so, saying is, Vinny, Vinny will play center. Mbappe will play left. Vinny has played center this season. I've seen that against Bayern Munich and everyone else. Vinny will play center. Mbappe will play left. Uh, Rodrigo will play on the right, and Bellingham will be playing just off the off the front line as I don't know ten or a hybrid eight or something. And that's basically it. That's their lineup. And I think the yeah, I new guy they're signing. I think the, who's the number nine? Who's the kid they're signing from Brazil? Um, and, oh, uh, uh, Enric. No, yeah, I think Enric. Enric. I think he's still a kid, so I think oh. he'll take a couple of years to kind of come there. And I think that's what Ben. That's what uh, Real Madrid does, right? I mean, they'll sign all these young players uh, who are the pa- talent has to, yet to be tapped. I mean, they're not. They're still not like superstars. Like you know, where was Valverde? Where was Vinicius? Where was uh, uh, Chouameni or any, all of these players? Right? I mean, they have potential. They'll sign all, all these players. They will keep them on the bench, and they'll kind of slowly grow the squad. And I think that's what Alonso does when he comes back. So yeah, I think it. It. it no one's gonna uh, object to Mbappe playing on the left. So I think that's his preferred position, and that's what's gonna happen. Also, I think the key is Ancelotti. I think that dude just manages people like. 
I don't know how he what skill he has because he's definitely not a systems manager he's a he's more of like a player manager and one of the best managers in the world 100% like along with Guardiola if mm-hmm. anybody can stand on the same pedestal it's Ancelotti for me uh so i think he him being there next season is the key to make uh, to make real madrid tick next season and uh, because he's there i'm confident that they you know they'll they'll find a way there will be casualties i am 100% sure there's somebody there's going to be a couple of big players available for a smaller clubs to snag off like you know maybe rodrigo maybe like there's a midfielder available here and there uh which which i mean somebody one of us like maybe liverpool or arsenal or maybe chelsea can like just get off of them but uh, i think the real real madrid will be fine